So as I said, we've got a date night hero here and not everybody is a spring chicken in the dating scene like me. You know, sometimes it's difficult to be dating in your 30s and here with a lot of great advice and recipes is one of our in-studio favorites, Chef Gina Worthy. Who is that? <laughs> Chef Gina Worthy. <laughs> Oh, I was, I was she waiting for her to entrance. come out. <laughs> As she, come on over. Come on over. So, Chef Gina. Yes. Are you single? Yes. Are you beautiful? Of course you're beautiful. Of course. So, live chat correspondent Allison. Mm-hmm. Spina. If you Hi. find any uh, eligible bachelors out there who might be interested in the Chef Gina worthy. I think you're making Chef Gina blush. <laughs> I think I am. I think I am. <laughs> Well, you know, from my culture, we, we uh, have a legacy of arranged marriages, so I think I'm being the date night hero and trying to arrange some well, romance. Well, at least here. you guys get married. I think we may need to incorporate that in the African community neighborhood. Well, you know, it's, it's like all things retro. It all comes <laughs> back, so maybe we can bring it back into fashion. But yeah. I understand you have some sweet treats for us. What was the inspiration behind bringing the Red Velvet theme for tonight? For the Red Tails movie. Oh, yes. And in addition to tying in the Red Tails movie, I see that it's all desserts, right? Yeah, and I'm my followers, I'm sorry you won't be fed fed today. Most of you guys come to the show, then you, you know that you've been well fed. I've never done a desserts only show. I've always incorporated a dessert with an entree. But, but actually, all sweets. All sweet. But um, by this being a date night hero themed show, I figure dating in your 30s, and especially if you're a parent, it's kind of hard to get out. So why not invite your friend over and just make a dessert and watch a little TV, drink a little wine. And um, these are some really, really incredible um, items I'm going to make for you guys. But the, the most, most important part about it, guess what? Is what? This comes from a box cake mix. Shut up. Wow. Easy. So there's no reason why you guys cannot duplicate this at home. I'm, I'm not doing anything extraordinary to it. I just, I'm just putting a Chef Gina worthy twist on a couple of things. But basically, a box cake mix, a couple of ingredients, and I'm going to show you guys three amazing desserts. And yet it is enough to kind of engage your date in the kitchen. Yeah. You know, you know your date can actually help you with this. You know, it's, it's a lot of hand moving and you know when you guys can you know get the whole touchy feely lick my finger you know and wow have you know wine and things like that am i talking a little too much about you know no but anyway but yeah it's really <laughs> show but me no, show but me show me <laughs> <laughs> me 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 i know yeah but it's 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 a lot of fun to make this uh-huh. and believe it or not even if you don't have an um uh, an adult counterpart with children, this is a very fun recipe that you can incorporate your kids with because it's gooey, it's messy. Oh, great! But it's fun. So, just in case you have one a, a lame-o date that like stands right, you up, you know, you can still have fun in the kitchen. Yeah, awesome. Total lame. Great. So let's get started. The first recipe. You My have- first recipe I have um, today. We're making red velvet cake balls. I don't know if you guys are familiar with cake balls. Right now, they're like the latest craze. You can go into any coffee house right now, but normally you'll see it on a stick, and it's dipped in chocolate. Um, me, in particular, I don't like cake dipped in chocolate. I don't like the hard coating, especially when you have something hard, and then the cake is very moist. I oh, think right. it's, I, To me, it takes away from it. Just like flourless chocolate cake, I like the fluffiness <laughs> Right, exactly. I take the flour out. You exactly. Know? So <laughs> that's what we're going to make. And again, I used a red velvet box cake. And what I've done, can I sit this here? Absolutely. And of course, we're cutting edge here at this Kenmore Live studio. So cupcakes were yesterday's thing. You know, everybody's (laughs) crazy about cupcakes. Now we're moving into cake balls. And the one good thing about this, you can use every pan you have in your house to make the cakes. It doesn't matter what form because it's going to get crumbled up. So basically, I pre-made a cake. And once it's cool, let's see here. Okay. We're just going to crumble it up. Within the bowl, this is about a cup and a half of prepackaged cream cheese frosting. Oh, but what I want to do before I crumble it up, I want to put on gloves because with it being red velvet, it will stain your hand. Right. Right. So you'll have red every place and you don't want to touch your clothes and things like that. So you could do this with other things other than red velvet. We're yeah, just you can red velvet. You know what? You can thing. you could use the um, a pineapple cake mix mm-hmm. and do the exact same thing 
and make pina colada balls and just add a little bit of rum, Chef you know, Gina, flavored rum. If, if that cake was your date, I would, <laughs> I'm not believing it. You, you've got to give it a little bit more. Yeah. Oh, there yeah. we go. There See, we go. Actually, Much better. What, what you really want to do is squish it in between there we go. your fingers. Awesome. That looks like so much fun. It's so tempting for me to, I want to yeah. play too. Yeah. And basically this is all that you do with this, you know, and some people refrigerate it. And if you refrigerate the mixture for about 10 minutes, it, it just, it just makes it a little bit um, more firm. You know, okay, but gotcha. but nothing, you know, nothing special. You don't have to. So you basically added the cream cheese frosting to... As a together. binder. Gotcha. That's it. I see we have a question from the audience, so I'm going to take it. Hang on. Handsome gentleman, what is your name? <laughs> My name is Sean. Sean, what's your question? Um, It just seems like a great idea. Like, a lot of times you bake in, and I know that temperature and humidity is important when you bake it, because I used to bake as a kid. But if your cake is lopsided, bumpy, lumpy, it really don't matter. Then you turn it into a into cake ball. ball. Yeah, that's a great idea. Turn like it into that. a cake ball. And you know what else is really fascinating about this? If you're a sweets eater, I'm not a heavily I'm, sweets eater. I'm a sweets eater. But one box. And these, I'm rolling these a little larger. Normally, um, for cake balls, you want to roll them about the size of a quarter. Okay. You'll get about 50, mm -hmm. you know. But imagine if you were to have a whole cake at home. Right. And you get up in the middle of the night for that craving. Uh-oh. How big is that slice? Um, Maybe like this? Slice? I'd face plant it. <laughs> but you know, but, <laughs> but what's good Let's about the these, truth. what's good about these, you can just go to your fridge and they don't have to be refrigerated. Okay. But if you would like to keep them in the fridge in an airtight container, they'll, you know, they'll stay um, pretty good for about two weeks. Okay, great. But you can just pop them right in your mouth without, you know, having to slice the cake. So I you, like the convenience. Factor. Yeah, exactly. So you could really just stand in front of the refrigerator and, you know. The refrigerator can be my yeah. date. And once you have these molded, okay, you can you just coat them. This is powdered sugar. Oh, look at that. So then um, you can protect, you have like a red velvet protector on the outside. Yeah. So you don't get all stained. Well, or I see you have a little texture there. What is that, coconut? That's actually coconut, and that's for um, a, another variety. Oh, you have ball. more than one variety. Yeah, I do. Potential. There's so much you can do with this. And actually, with the powdered sugar, if you like uh, spicy, you can actually add a little bit of um, cayenne pepper. Oh, just a little to kick? Your pot. Yeah, for a little kick, you can add chili powder. You can basically add uh, um, any type of savory that you would like. Right. And this is very, you know, it's very elegant. You know, it could go from after school to, you know, um, a quick after dinner. Right. Um, it depends on how dessert. you present it, right? Yeah. And, you know, um, works well with any type of wine, champagne, Great. or what have you. And it's and it's filling. One ball, you may, you might only eat one or two. As much as I love cake, it is my favorite food group. I admit <laughs> that if there's some left on the plate, no matter how full I am, yeah. I just keep eating it because it tastes so good, you know? Yeah. So, so this is a good way of doing portion control. Exactly. So that people are still interested in dating you. Yeah. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> so I'll, I'll roll one more. Great. And then you said you had a variation. Are you going to show yeah, us Yeah, I'm variation? going to show you that now. Great. Same cake mix, box cake, bake it, another layer. In a bowl, cup and a half of cream cheese frosting, pre-made, store-bought, or right. what have you. This is a little bit of brandy, but the orange coloring comes from, um, I put a little bit of orange extract in it. Oh, okay. Just to give it a little flavor as well. So now these are drunk cake balls. Right. <laughs> <laughs> And some people, like, I'm not a huge drinker. I'm affectionate enough as it is sober, so maybe I wouldn't want the brandy in them, so you have the option of You have the option, and you, but you don't have to use brandy. Uh, again, you can use um, flavored rum. You can use flavored vodkas oh. as well. There's a lot that you can, that you can do with that. Usually Danielle hosts the shows. I know, you know, right? You guys totally have that, like, uh, spirit <laughs> connection, and, you know. Sorry. I know. I know, yeah, this one is, is a little larger. I guess once I start working with alcohol, everything is, is, is seismic. I just want it big. <laughs> <laughs> now, because we, we're working with, with, with brandy and, the, and the, uh, the orange extract, we're just going to add a different flavor and texture to it. We're going to roll it in coconut. Oh, look at that. And that looks beautiful. You know, I would be impressed if a date like invited me over and we ended up with these 
things. I'm one of those that I have to take pictures of everything and post them on Facebook. Ooh, ah. Oh, so you know? people can believe that you actually made it? I know, right? Because I, I store by everything. <laughs> so. And I've actually made some of your recipes while at home. I've they're gone easy. back and I've looked yeah, them up. And one easy. of the things that you guys can do is that after the show is over, you can go to YouTube and search for Gina Worthy and you can find this recipe video as well as the recipe in the description section. So that's that's a great thing. It lives forever. Yeah. So I see you are wrapping up this recipe. Yep. Um, and are you going to plate them? Is there a presentation that you do with them? Actually, yeah. Okay. Thank you. And it's very simple. Okay. Again, you don't have to do very much with this because of the coating. I mean, it speaks for itself. It, it does. So you really you don't want to ruin it. And again, you would just serve this. You know, um, just plate it for. Actually, you can just put one, and you and your date can share. Right. Oh, very nice. Again, or you can have your date make this with you. Like I said, it's very easy. It's a lot of fun, you know. And I, I think anyone that I was dating and I come into a home and I see them preparing this, I would be very impressed. And you don't have to tell them that it came from a box, you know. Absolutely. You can start from this part, exactly. you know, and, and just keep moving. So let's put a couple on the plate so that we get that final camera shot. Look at that. And then let's tempt the audience. Oh, that looks I know. And everyone will get a sampling of everything Isn't that I that make wonderful? today. So here we go for the camera. Can I get a big round of applause for Chef Tina's <laughs> date-worthy cake balls? <laughs>